it's food and beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a sausage pairing for you with some beer, of course, from the Netherlands. So this is a bottle of Texel's Skumkop. It's 6% ABV in a 300 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. Many thanks to the lovely Dutch sender who sent us this. We had a massive package of chocolates and spreads and so it was fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to be pairing it with some Unox Geldes Rookwurst. Look at that. I've even got the chopping board out for this one. <laughs> Better sausage and beer paired in. So first of all, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. I'm quite excited for this one. Whoa, when there's normally that much smoke, there's no smoke without fire, it normally comes out the top, but we're okay. For some reason, For some reason I know about this beer. I might have even tried it, but it just rings a bell. I've never tried it, I've never reviewed it. I'm wondering, although I'm looking at it and thinking no, I was, I brewed a beer with, um, a collaboration beer with Brewery the Doctor van der Coroner. And we, we went out round a lot of bars and he took me to this specific Belgian, was it Belgian or Dutch? I think it was Belgian, because we're in a funny town that was, say a funny town, it's not funny at all. Um, but it was on the, it was about 20 borders on the, in this town. Uh, at one moment you never knew whether you were in Belgium or, or the Netherlands. It's a famous little town, lovely little place. Uh, but we ended up in this bar where this bar, this lady took over this bar like 60 years ago and she hadn't changed anything. And they were explaining how tip, very typical this, this is for Belgian places, Belgian bars where, where old um, landladies are still going. This woman was in her 90s, still pouring beer and she was pouring this Lager, this really typical like like Belgium lager that she knew and loved, but it was like literally not sold in many places anymore. It was one of those kind of 1960s fashionable lagers in Belgium that that faded away and people forgot about it, apart from this woman who who's still running a bar at 90. And he wanted me to try this lager and he wanted me to experience this wonderful kind of Belgian bar and it was like you could smell the old carpets and there's an old pool table and old decor on the walls it was fantastic but you're here for the Texels beer so it wasn't it wasn't this beer but I was I was thinking how do I know this beer how do I know this beer right hazy amber good carbonation Probably had a one finger white head ish when it went before I started jabbering on about old Belgian pubs. Aroma. It's got a little bit of a Belgian feel about this beer. It's zesty, spicy, peppery, malty, hoppy. Yeasty, there's a certain flavour coming from the yeast. Let's dive in, cheers. Really quite carbonated. So a yeast forward beer, although it's not a blonde, Kind of reminds me of a Belgian blonde, maybe a Belgian amber, but it wouldn't be an amber because it's not it's not strong enough to be an amber, I don't think. Or maybe that's a double, six percent ABV amber. Yeah, you could probably call it like a Belgian style amber ale that's been brewed in the Netherlands. 
I can see why it's won a, a World Beer Awards for the Netherlands win. I can see that. It's, it's pretty decent. It's really quite zingy and carbonated and lemony and a little bit kind of horse blankety and a little bit of sweet malt coming through, biscuitiness. And, and quite refreshing for a 6% beer. Yeah. Right. I'm excited for this bit. I'm excited for the beer, of course. But I've had so many. I've had so many beers that I feel that I'm not being surprised as I'm as I once was with beers now because I kind of like I've reviewed 5,500. Still got a massive passion for beer, of course. Um, but for example, I've never tried a, a Dutch sausage. So although I'm very excited for the beer, I'm also very excited for this Dutch sausage. Shaped in a in a horseshoe. I like having a bit of fun with you people. Right, here we go, look at that. Very impressive. Reminds me of my youth. <laughs> what I used to look like. Before I got all old and shriveled up. <laughs> right, what am I talking about guys? What am I talking about? Making a right mess of this. Maybe some mustard or... And again, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just gonna go get some mustard out the fridge, which is, you can probably hear it, it's by there. It's just out of shot, but I wanna get the mustard. You know, Morrison's English mustard that we've had for since Christmas. Which was only more than that long ago at all. Right. Let's try the sausage on its own. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Oh! Mmm, 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 mmm. Ah, mmm. It's a bit kind of. It's a bit like spammy and. Mmm. Like we stick sausage in a. Like a spammy type sausage in a in a tin. It's not very appetising. This sausage here, I'm going to cut some more. That is delicious! Whoa! That is so good. My kids are going to completely nail this. It'll be gone in an hour. That is delicious. Right. I'm not getting a plate. I'm not, I, I wasn't even getting the mustard out, so... Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. See, I recently did the whole Veganuary thing. I would never make it. I would never make it as a vegan. The... I watched um, a program on the telly, on Netflix, it was called Game Changers and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be all this, I'm going to be a vegan and I'm going to eat beans and, and, and I'm going to like cut out the meat because the 
protein is secondhand protein because it's already been through the animal and you're eating secondhand protein and blah blah blah. I was doing it for my fitness. And then like things like this come along and it's just impossible. It's this is just I mean this is just divine. Pork it's not no it's not porky, it's very much like it's a little bit like a, a British Savoy um mixed with a bit of spam or something. It's beautiful. Oh How does it go with the beer? Mm. It's just like I wish we had more of it in the UK. Like, I can imagine setting up outside, pack of this, sealed of course, otherwise the flies will get it, chopping board, a few beers in the garden, knife, some mustard, having a couple of beers, when you get peckish, just opening one of these sausages, slicing some mustard, oh the sun's shining, oh brilliant, absolutely brilliant, what more can you possibly want from life, that, that is a brilliant, that Unox, Geldi's Rookwurst is just fantastic. Right, I'm going to rate this Texels, Scoomgop, Special beer. Yeah, so no, no English on here. Well, there's not going to be any English, is there? But it, yeah, six percent beer, very tasty. Goes well with the sausage. I like that. I like that enough to give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for the for the Texels. The sausage. Well, that is just. That is just amazing, absolutely, look at that. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I like the sausage enough to give it a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. If you like what you've seen, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Thank you again to the Dutch and me sender of, the, of this wonderful package of beer and food. Stone the Crows, boom, cheers.